guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about the season finale, which is coming this Tuesday. Super excited for it. Today we're going to be talking about a teaser from Jordan Fisher in regards to what could potentially be coming with Bart Allen in the future. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so... Jordan Fisher, who plays Bart, who just showed up two episodes ago and already was amazing in the last episode as the future son of Barry and Iris. Well, he did an interview with E.T. and in that interview they discussed some very interesting topics. A lot of the interview was about Jordan becoming Bart Allen and what it was like for him, like did he prepare, did he read comics? And yes, he read comics but he wanted to sort of see all these iterations of the character but like make it himself, right? I feel like most actors do that when they have to play comic book characters, they take inspiration, but in the end, they go with what they think is right. Okay, so that was like the main gist of the interview, but the most important bit that I think a lot of people online have picked up on, and I've been looking at this and seeing people's reactions for the last couple of days, and people seem to think something of this might actually turn out to be true, and this is Jordan Fisher talking about Bart's future. And so he doesn't talk about like just the finale or something because that's just going to be like a continuation on from last episode and it must also be noted that Jordan Fisher is set to be on a Broadway show for a couple of months from September onwards so that means he's going to be unavailable to film however there is a chance that if he's in Vancouver he could shoot when the flash goes back to filming sometime mid-August before he goes to New York Depends on the rules obviously, maybe he just can't make it there without having to quarantine for two weeks and it would coincide with his Broadway show that he is set to be the main lead in. But nevertheless, I think the main gist that you can get from Jordan talking about Bart is that he cares about it, he really likes it, and he wants to do more. And so that means probably more episodes are coming, whether that's next season or later in the future. We don't know and we'll have to wait and see, but for now let's go ahead and talk about what Jordan specifically said. So talking about Bart, he said, If it's received well, and he's referencing his character of course, and people like what I'm doing with the role, and it makes sense and people would be happy to see something continue, that would be something that I would always be down to explore. Then he goes on to say, it has to be real, it has to be organic, and it can't be forced because that is the only way that he would do it. So those are the words that have really sort of stuck out to people because this is him essentially teasing a future for Bart past the end of this season. And I think definitely the main thing he's referring to is the idea of a spin-off show after say The Flash ends or maybe even whilst The Flash is on, they could do a spin-off and Jordan said that he would be down to do that and I think all of us fans would be really excited a lot of questioning has been brought up recently in regards to like how long The Flash is going to go on. Obviously we got season 8, we don't know if we have season 9 or 10 or anything like that. It hasn't been confirmed, but Grant once, like last year, did reference maybe like season 9, like his contract extending past that. So with that in mind, and you know it's all up to Grant really if The Flash continues or not, it looks like Bart could potentially be the future Flash of the Arrowverse, where he could have his own show, wouldn't have to be on the Flash, but you know, they could call it Impulse or whatever name they come up with, and I guess you could see Nora on that show, and it could be something very different, but it also could remind fans of like the Flash, because obviously that's what you want, right? That is the idea of a spin off is to continue that world, even though the Arrowverse is so expensive. But like to continue the Flash world specifically would be awesome when the show eventually does end because every show ends. But let's just quickly break down like the specific points that he brings up in his interview. So he says if it's received well, which it already has been, and people like what he's doing with the role, people already do really like what he's done with the role and made it, you know, himself and he feels like Bart from the comics, but I guess he's a little bit different. And he specifically mentions if it makes sense and people would be happy to see something continue. Obviously, people being happy means the fans, but I think more so it means like the people at the CW and like who are the people that are greenlighting this show because the fans can't greenlight a show, you know. Like, obviously, in an instant, we would be like, yeah, let's get a Bart Allen show going on the CW when the flash ends. 
but if the network is happy with how people have been responding to Bart and think that they could make something out of this character, and this could definitely be a real possibility. But he does emphasize it has to be real, it has to be organic, and it can't be forced, otherwise he would be the first one to be like, no, I'm out, like, this isn't working. However, it does seem like the CW is very selective about like what shows they go and continue, because you know you have Green Arrow and the Canaries, which didn't get picked up, you have Wonder Girl, which didn't get picked up, and also the Black Lightning spin-off Painkiller. So they literally skipped on like three big shows that could have been a big thing, and instead they've gone for like Naomi and nothing else apart from that as of right now. So there is obviously the availability for more Arrowverse shows on CW because they do so well for them compared to a lot of their other shows, obviously apart from Riverdale which does really good. So in terms of the network I think they would be down like when The Flash ends because The Flash is what does the best with CW so when the CW doesn't have its number one show, they're going to want a spin-off off of their number one show. And I think something in the realms to do with Bart Allen would be like the perfect opportunity for the network. But it's specifically actually very great to hear that like Jordan is really down to explore whatever happens next. And it got a lot of people worried when he announced that he was going to be the lead star and everybody's talking about Jamie on Broadway because obviously that takes away actors for such a long time because it's a full on schedule on Broadway like it's I think five six nights a week like two times a day so they're constantly living and breathing that character and he'll have no time to do the flash so don't go into next season expecting Bart Allen to show up in every single episode as a regular I reckon maybe we'll see him quite a few times in the back half but don't expect him for that much at the start unless they can get him in for like one episode due to him still sticking around in Vancouver before heading to New York. I don't know where he lives right now, I don't have those details, so I can't tell you if that's going to happen or not. But I'm super excited, and I'm sure you guys would be if Bar Allen did have a spin-off show. And, you know, if you're asking me personally, I would include Nora in the show, but that obviously depends on Jessica Parker Kennedy's availability. I think a Flash family show would probably be, like, the best way to go, in my opinion. I don't know how likely it is that that would happen. Like, I mean, Bart Allen, Jay Garrick, Nora West Allen, obviously he probably wouldn't be around by then because Grant would have decided to leave the show, but maybe he shows up at some point. But you would have the opportunity to introduce, like, a whole realm of new species. Like, you can have Max Mercury. I know he's not, like, technically a speedster, but he sometimes is very related to speedsters or any of the newer speedsters that have been introduced in the comics or if you go way back you can have like different certain characters that haven't actually popped up on the mainstream flash tv show but you want to introduce them like i know it's not that far back but inert or someone like that could be a great villain for bart in the show but anyway so that's just my rambling going on about this, I have a lot of ideas in regards to like a Bart Allen spin-off and if that would to happen, and I'm sure you guys do, so let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about all of this? Let me know. But for now, let's move on to the final things. So, a new poster was released for The Flash's Season 7 finale, which is airing this Tuesday. Review is going to come out right after it comes out, so be on the lookout for that. It's a cool poster which features all of the main characters. You've also got the inclusion of some of the side characters, which includes Allegra and Chester and also Cecile's in the background. You've got Iris, Barry as the Flash, and Killer Frost, and also Joe down the bottom. So it's a pretty cool poster, and it just showcases the whole team, and it basically is like a hype up for the finale. And I can't wait. It's happening this Tuesday. This is going to be the official end of the Godspeed arc. So get ready for that. I really, really can't wait to watch it, and obviously we're going to have no Flash after that episode until November, but we will have all the other shows, so stick around for that. Stargirl is coming out sometime in the first few weeks of August, then Supergirl comes out like a week or so later when Superman and Lois finishes its season, and so we're going to be covering both of those shows. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching. And please be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new. You can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy road.